I was at game one. Uh, of course, Miami got the win. They're looking good to, uh, tonight as well. Uh, Philly is back in Miami for game five tonight. Joel and B looked amazing uh, in Philly. Um, and, you know, they, they were able to tie the series up. Um, but I, I think Miami wins this series. I, you know, I just – I think they got their number. I haven't seen enough uh, from James Harden. I know he had, he had a, a really good night uh, game four. But you – you know, as a superstar MVP in this league, you can't go every four games before you have another performance like the one he had in game four. Philly is not going to win like that, you know, especially when you have uh, Joel Embiid dealing with the orbital orbital fracture, um, you know, and, and kind of struggling the way the way he has been. He is back, but I still got Miami, man. I, I like the toughness. I like the defense. Uh, Jimmy Butler has gotten better every game, uh, scoring wise. He's, he's, he's added on, um, you, they got a lot of shooters out there. Tyler Harrell, my man, uh, Swaggy T. Um, if, if, if we can get a, some consistency out of Bam out of Bayou, you know, Miami might really, you know, be a tough team to beat, but, uh, talk to me about the Miami Philly series. I mean, I like Miami as well, you know, for all the reasons that you mentioned, but I think I'm gonna stick with the Sixers, you know, cause. I don't know. I really have a like a a support for for Harden. You know, I think that his career has been tough on him. He's transferred to so many different teams, really. But he's a killer, you know. And he's tried to adapt to these different teams, you know. And it's been mid season, end of season, and those things matter. But you know, once things start clicking, and once you really find your ne- your niche and your groove, I think it's take off from there. Yeah, it's already at the end. You're already, we're already in playoffs, so it's like, okay, when is it gonna happen? But those are superstar players. You know, he's a superstar. So at any point, you know, when he turns it on, he could really take it to the next level. And, you know, right now is the time to make that happen. And he should just go in with the momentum or for the last game and just continue it out. You know, and just give a little bit from Embiid. Embiid is already a superstar monster in itself. I mean, he's like top three, five in the league right now. You do know that. Second playoffs and this is usually around the point where James uh Harden starts to fizzle out right yeah they always try to talk about my boy <laughs> the history shows that you know once you get later in the second round that's when we start to lose the MVP James Harden who we haven't even seen in Philadelphia this season yes. we saw some some you know signs back in Brooklyn early on in the year but we haven't really seen MVP Outside of game four, that was probably like the one time this season that we've seen MVP James Harden for Philly. I don't know, man. It's, you know, Miami is a tough team, man. They, you know. Yeah, Jimmy Butler, like you said, yeah, Jimmy Butler is, <laughs> is, is he's gritty, man. Uh, Jimmy Butler is definitely a, a tough guard, you know, so I agree all the way. I mean, he's been through t- so much adversity, changing teams as well. And he's stayed, he, he's remained consistent with his work, work ethic. You know, he's and tough both ends well. of the court. Huh? He does, you know, Philly's his former team, so, you know, I'm sure he wants to... It's personal. It's personal. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it is personal. I guess we'll see who wants it more. Like, we just every league, every single series is going to be who wants it more because the players on each end are very talented. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I think Joel Embiid is the best center in basketball. I also think he should have been the MVP this season, and that's something we're going to actually jump into right now. Um, I guess even though I didn't agree with the the pick for MVP, you know, at the end of the day, this man won the award. Uh, you know, shout out to to to, to the Joker, uh, yeah. back to back MVPs. It doesn't happen. That, I mean, it happens kind of somewhat often, but not not really often. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, Bye, the camp. Uh-huh. This is Hi, Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you. 